Los Alamitos Million, and the famed champion of champions, Los Alamitos Race Course. All that in a special remembering with California racing legend Best Pal, National Car Rental Racehorse Digest. Hello again, everyone. I'm Chris Lincoln, and happy holidays from all of us at ESPN and the Racehorse Digest. Well, our holiday feature race takes us to Hollywood Park, their final Sunday of the winter meet, and the Grade 3 Native Diver Handicap. Thoroughbreds 3 and up going a mile and an eighth for $100,000. Let's meet the field. The closing odds presented by Las Vegas. Don't blame Rio. River Keen at 5 to 2 with Garrett Gomez. Joe Hu at 10. Musical Gambler at 4. There's the favorite. Porto Madero on the outside. 3 to 5 with Kent DeSormo. Now for our feature race from Hollywood Park. The grade 3 native diver will pick up the call with Luke Kreitbos. 24 and 1 for the opening quarter. Moderate fractions out here for the big gray musical gambler. Well in hand, leading it by two. Puerto Madero stalking from second now. River Keen racing third to the inside of Joe Hoos. Four off the lead in fourth by five more. And long shot, don't blame Rios at the back of the pack. Up the back stretch they go. Musical Gambler and Matt Garcia in front by just a length. Puerto Madero second with River Keen moving fast along the inside. He's up into second now just a neck back of Musical Gambler. Puerto Madero nudged along early racing in third. Joe Hu fourth by five more and don't blame Rio. At the back of the pack half mile in 47 and four tempo quickening here. Musical Gambler in front by two. River Keen now moving up the challenge in second. Puerto Madero starts to hit his best stride. He's starting to roll now in third. Joe Who is racing fourth by five more and don't blame Rio. The race starting to tighten up as they run to the quarter pole. Musical Gambler tackled early by River Keen. Puerto Madero set down for the drive in third and Joe Who. They head for a musical gambler. Got something left in the tank. River Keen up to tackle him. Here comes Puerto Madero. He's storming home on the far side. Puerto Madero coming fast and he hits the front past the eighth pole. Then musical gambler and River Keen. Puerto Madero. He's in another league here. Puerto Madero, razor sharp in the native diver. Puerto Madero, owned by Hollywood Park Chairman R.D. Hubbard and his partner Sutherland, winning the native diver under jockey Kent DeSormo. He's trained by Richard Mandela. Bred in Chile, the four-year-old Puerto Madero has now scored 10 wins in three seconds in 15 career starts. His earnings approaching half a million dollars. Puerto Madero, twice the runner-up to Skipway earlier this year, could be a real factor in the handicap division, 1999. In our remembering feature, we're going to take you back to the 1994 Native Diver Handicap. Trainer Richard Mandela, who just won his sixth Native Diver race with Puerto Madero this year, saddle California racing legend Best Pal for the 1994 running. Let's pick up the call. Pals absolutely flying on the outside, forced to go five wide, but Best Pals in full stride as they come to the head of the stretch, and Best Pals six wide on the outside has now taken the lead, toss of the coins, racing in second, Royal Chariots drop back in third, but this is one impressive effort from your Best Pal, and that's Chris McCarran and Best Pal, and they bound to the front with a sixteenth of a mile to the finish, and five million dollars at Best Pal, and he's going to add to that earnings here, Best Pal by three, very impressive, toss of the coin second, and Royal Chariot third. Best Pal winning the 1994 Native Diver, one of many stakes victories for this legendary California gelding who died of a heart attack just a few weeks ago at the Navy's Golden Eagle Farm in California. National Car Rental Race Horse Digest is brought to you by National Car Rental. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. By Allen and Madeline Paulson's Brookside Farm. And by the American Quarter Horse Association, serving the American Quarter Horse racing industry and America's horse. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! At National Car Rental, we believe that when it comes to renting a car, there's really only one place to go. Because at most major airports in America, National gets you in your car and on the road fast. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. National Car Rental. Let's go! It's like nothing you've ever seen. Everything you ever knew about handicapping is about to change. Advanced passengers.
best performances, exclusive ratings, computer software, all delivered to you electronically and using official information from the U.S. Trotting Association. Prepared by Trackmaster, the world leader in electronic handicapping. Get ready to feel the power of winning this fall from Trackmaster and the U.S. Trotting Association. Brookside Farm is the home of one of the world's leading stallions, Theatrical. He has produced 11% stakes winners from foals, and his progeny have earned over $31 million worldwide. 15% of Theatrical's runners are graded stakes performers, including 1998 stakes winners, Royal Anthem in England, and Stage Affair in Ireland, and his U.S. multiple stakes winning four-year-old daughter, Auntie Mae. Theatrical's runners average over $4.4 million a year in earnings. Meet the challenge, the MBNA America Challenge. The MBNA Racing Challenge offers your horse more opportunities to race for more money every year. Challenge enrolled horses bring an average of 10% more at auction. Enroll your horse today for the rest of his life. The MBNA America Racing Challenge. Here are the money leaders for 1998 in Thoroughbred Racing. Silver Charm, the winner of the Dubai World Cup. Awesome again, Breeders' Cup Classic Champion. Skip Away, destined to be Horse of the Year. Asina, the only Philly or Mare in that top five. And Victory Gallop round out the five. This past weekend in Southern California, the quarter horse racing year came to an end with its two major stakes races. Tom Dawson has the wrap-up for us from Los Alamitos. Well, just as Christmas comes at this time every year, the best in quarter horse racing gather in late December here at Los Alamitos Racecourse. And for good reason. Over the past 26 years, the Coors Champion of Champions has featured the eventual world champion 22 times. This year, the race for the title is wide open, and all the leading contenders were present for this $350,000 classic. There was the top three-year-old filly, Corona Cash, trying to emulate the exploits of Dashing Folly two years ago. And Deposit Cash, who defeated the best older horses at Remington Park last spring. The consistent, he's a rambling man, coming off a troubled effort in the MBNA Challenge Championship. Defending world champion, SLM Big Daddy, a step behind this year, but freshened up for his Champion of Champions run. And the record-breaking mare, Cool Q Baby, a winner of 23 stakes in her brilliant career and the world champion favorite coming into the race. Here's a look at the final odds with He's a Ramblin' Man, a very slight favorite at 5-2 to two over the mare, Cool Q Baby. SLM Big Daddy was the third choice at 7-2, to two, and Corona Cash also got some respect at 4-1. to one. Now for the call of the Champion of Champions 27, here's Los Alamitos track announcer Ed Burgart. And away they go in the Champion of Champions and a flying start down along the inside for Blush and Bugs. Cool Q Baby also came away well and so did Deposit Cash and SLM Big Daddy. He's a Ramblin' Man's hopelessly beaten tonight as SLM Big Daddy's now coming in powerfully in the outside of Deposit Cash. Also closing in is Corona Cash, but Big Daddy is back in a powerful run. SLM Big Daddy at nightly to deal with Deposit Cash second and Corona Cash third, but here is Lifeter's world champion and in an even better performance tonight, SLM Big Daddy a nightly. SLM Big Daddy benefits from his two-month vacation and responds with another devastating performance in the Champion of Champions. He becomes the third back-to-back -back winner of the year in Classic and thrusts his name directly into the World Championship picture. Deposit Cash ran a game race to be second with Corona Cash third. Cool Q Baby was a non-threatening sixth and he's a rambling man ninth after lunging in the air at the break. SLM Big Daddy graces the Champion of Champions winner circle for the second straight year and runs his lifetime earnings to over $930,000. Trainer Don Morning, who orchestrated the convincing victory, was enjoying the Champion of Champions habit. Oh, it's a, it's a good habit to be into. I tell you, this horse is, is, is a great athlete. Uh, he, he sure showed up tonight, and he was due to throw a big race like this. Uh, we felt good in the last two weeks, uh, and when it rained a couple days ago, that actually made us happy. We thought he'd firm the track up. He likes to run on a good, solid uh, surface. Boy, did he run a good race tonight. 
Winning rider Jackie Martin was also celebrating back-to-back -back victories in the race as he described the action to Chris Lincoln. Well, you're looking right now at a gentleman who is really a legend in this game. Jackie Martin is a six-time winner of the All-American Futurity. He had never won the Champion of Champions until last year. He liked it so much, he came back and did it again. Becomes the third rider to get the Champion of Champions double. Jackie, what were the keys tonight for the Big Daddy? Uh, I think the racetrack was one of the main keys, Chris. I mean, when it rained uh, yesterday and today, and then I rode a couple of races earlier tonight, and, and it was really packed and, and hard, and that's that's his best way he likes it. You know, the harder the racetrack is, the better it is. He broke pretty good tonight, and uh, he wasn't slipping. You know, he was right on the lead. Uh, I guess it was Deposit Cash was head and head with me, and uh, I recently hit him three or four times right here, and he just accelerated. I mean, it was just like he was running through himself. And uh, then I just let him run for a ways and got after him another time or two. And, I mean, he was just running away from them, you know, like a, a racehorse is supposed to, beating a bunch of best horses in the country, that, you know. And, I mean, he beat them really bad. So the Champion of Champions trophy once again belongs to SLM Big Daddy and owner Steve Mitchell. Will the voters also award another world champion title? We'll find out next month. The fourth running of the Los Alamitos Million was also a part of the big weekend, with 10 two-year-olds going 400 yards for over $1.1 million. The favorites were grade one winner Romeo Ryan and fastest qualifier Fodice. But it was an anything-can-happen scenario on a sloppy track, and what do you know, there was a surprise. And the way they go in the Los Alamitos Million Futurity. And Fodais came away with the leaders. Also, Kingman Kid is right there, and so is Flash First. As Flash First is now coming on gamely in between horses, along with Sunset Dash and Romeo Ryan on the far outside. Kingman Kid just in front. Flash First, Sunset Dash, and Romeo Ryan. This is going to be a blanket photo finish. So tight in the photo finish between Kingman Kid and Sunset Dash. Right there, Flash First. It could have gone any one of those three ways. Kingman Kid survives a stretch-long battle with Flash First and Sunset Dash and had enough left to hold off the hard-charging Romeo Ryan. The gelding had just one start since June and was totally overlooked in the wagering, but he now jumps into the two-year-old gelding title chase by earning over $458,000. Kingman Kid is owned and bred by Ed Allred, who called the victory his most satisfying ever. Joe Badia Jr. provided the winning ride for trainer Kelly Long, who wrapped up an outstanding first year as one of the powerful All Red Stables primary trainers. And Kingman Kid joins All-American Futurity heroine Falling in Love Again in winning a million dollar race after posting only the ninth fastest qualifying time. Here's another look at that thrilling finish with Kingman Kid on the inside, Sunset Dash and Flash First between horses and Romeo Ryan coming on the outside. Kingman Kid with just enough to hold off the other two long shots and Romeo Ryan fourth in a memorable Los Alamitos Million. For more information on quarter horse racing, here's the toll-free number to call 1-800-414-RIDE. Straight ahead, the first of our two Thoroughbred Race Recaps on National Car Rental Racehorse Digest. The seasons come and go, but here, in Pennsylvania Dutch country, time stands still. And in this tradition of care and quality, we created Stroman Dutch Country Bread and Rolls. Like soft, fresh potato bread, 100% whole wheat, and Dutch Country Potato Rolls, each an original recipe, all delicious. Look in the Dutch Country section for the kind of bread you thought went out with the horse and buggy. Dutch Country, only from Stroman. It's easy to advertise and ask injured persons to let you represent them. But in order to represent them well, you need skill, experience, and the support of a winning team. I am proud of the team that stands behind me every time I walk into a courtroom and who will help me represent you and your loved ones. It's ESPN Sunday Night Football. This week, it's another chapter in a classic rivalry when the Skins look to derail the Cowboys' quest for a division title. ESPN Sunday Night Football. Coverage begins at 8.15. Now that sounds exciting. 
Here are next week's times for our final Digest show of 1998. Now, make a note of these times because it's our special year in show. The top races of 1998 will be featured. We begin our thoroughbred race recap, the first of two in South Florida. Called a race course for the grade two W.L. McKnight handicap. The purse, $150,000. Thoroughbreds three and up, going a mile and a half on the turf. This one's a battle between Alan Paulson's Glock and Arthur Appleton's wild event as we take you to Calder for the McKnight Handicap. There's a quarter of a mile to go in the W.L. McKnight, and on the inside, Glock still clings to a short lead. On the outside, it's still Wild Event right there, second. Two lanes back, N.B. Farr is put to the whip. Down the outside, it's Panama City. They move past the eighth pole. On the outside, Wild Event now gets a short lead. At the rail, it's Glock second, length and half to the outside, N.B. Farr's. Then comes Musical Ghost. Deep stretch with the lead, that's Wild Event. He takes the W.L. McKnight handicap a length and a half. And that's two wins in a row for Wild Event under jockey Shane Sellers. Last month, they teamed up in the Grade 3 River City handicap at Churchill Downs. But this was a bittersweet victory for veteran trainer Lou Goldfine. He lost his wife, Pat, of 37 years three weeks ago. Last time Pat saw Wild Event run was in the four-star day from Saratoga. The five-year-old by Wilding and his amassed career earnings of over $600,000 are congratulations. Calder also hosted the Kenny No Handicap Sunday. The seven furlong race with $100,000, ages three and up. The favorite, the gray, coming on the outside. Thrillin' Discovery. Watch this move. They move to the three-eighth pole. On the inside now, that's Nicholas Diaz. Thrillin' Discovery has moved on the outside to challenge. At the rail, that's Flashing Tammany. Then Stormy Dew. Toward the outside, it's Auto de Mexico. Six lengths back, Wasatch. They went to half, 44 and two. They move toward the furlong pole. Thrill in discovery, draws off the lead by three. At the rail, flashing Tammany on the outside. That's Auto de Mexico. Next comes Nicholas Diaz. They come to deep stretch. Thrill in discovery is gonna take the Kenny No Jr. handicap and he's gonna do it impressively. And very easily, Thrillin' Discovery. The rush to the field, no match for this three-year-old Gray Gelding. In fact, the final march to victory, 10 lengths. Thrillin' Discovery is by Alaskan Frost, owned by the 3G Stable, trained by Luis Alvarez. Jockey Javier Castellano was on for the victory. The final time for the seven furlongs, 123 flat. Thrillin' Discovery, very impressive. Back to Southern California now, Hollywood Park on Saturday for the $84,000 safely kept handicap. Five and a half furlongs on the turf for Phillies and Mayors three and up. Dick Mandela sent out the favorite stop traffic. At the top of the stretch, they start to bunch up. Granja Realeza, Geneve set down for the drive. Fine IDF is there, fun all over, and stop traffic coming gamely on the far outside. Stop traffic now kicks it into gear. Fun all over is going with her. Here comes Plus from the back of the pack. Stop traffic forging a short lead. Fun all over and Heptathlon flying late. Stop traffic, here comes Heptathlon absolutely flying up to win. From last to first, Heptathlon capturing her first stakes win for owners Opus, Sinatra, and Summers. The five-year-old Merritt raced only three times this year, her best showing being a second in a Santa Anita allowance race. Richard Mathlo was the trainer. Jockey Garrett Gomez had the honor of bringing her into the winner's circle for her first stakes victory. Heptathlon has been there five out of 11 times in her career. Racing from the Big A, Aqueduct Racetrack in New York is coming up. You'll watch a great performance by a daughter of Champion Unbridled. Let's go! Vacation travelers know that when it comes to renting a car, there's really only one place to go. National Car Rental. Especially if you're going to the happiest place on Earth. Because as the official car rental company of Disneyland in Southern California, National gets you in your car and on the road fast. For a family vacation you'll never forget. So what are you waiting for? Let's go to Disneyland with National Car Rental. 
Get the inside track on American quarter horse racing with the Quarter Racing Journal, the number one magazine in the quarter horse racing industry. Every issue is packed with hard-hitting in-depth features on quarter horse racing's winners and players on track and off. The most complete race coverage in the industry from coast to coast. Each month, the Quarter Racing Journal highlights the latest in news, training, and health. For only $25, receive 12 months of the Quarter Racing Journal. Call today, 1-800-291-7323. Hi, we're in Miami, we've got a sink, new Perk Plus with clean conditioning, we're washing hair and we're changing minds. Excuse me, Ep. hi, excuse me, ma'am, I ask you a couple of questions? Hi, can I ask you a couple of questions about shampoo? Shampoo! Have you ever used one of those shampoo and conditioners in one? Uh, have you ever used one of those uh, shampoo and conditioners in one? No. No? Yes. What'd you think of it? Didn't like it. I hated them. I hated them. Kind of uh, yeah. limp and dead. Weighs your hair down. We're 0 for 4, my friend. <laughs> Look at this. I don't know what you've heard about Perk Plus in the past, but it's totally changed. And I've got a sink right over there, and I've got, I've got a sink right over there. It's reformulated Perk Plus. Here we go, ladies. All right, but this stuff, since they, they, they redid it, it's been revolutionarily, like, redesigned and has water-based conditioning. You see, there's no buildup, so your hair's going to feel clean, clean. Tell me what it feels like. Wow. <laughs> it's wonderful light. It feels light. It's light and it does seem lighter. Oh, wow. That's great. <laughs> hey, new Perk Plus with clean conditioning. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> we're washing hair and we're changing minds. Excuse me. Excuse me. Here are Thoroughbred Racing's top trainers by Money Earned this year. What a year for Bob Baffert. Over $14.7 million. Bill Mott, another solid year. D. Wayne Locus, he's always there. Neil Drysdale from Southern California. And the king of Northern California racing, Jerry Hollendorfer, with a great year as well. Well, this second race recap in Thorburn Racing will take us to New York, Saturday's Grade 3 Ladies Handicap at Aqueduct. This race is for fillies and mares three and up, going a mile and a quarter, $75,000 the purse. The big favorite was the four-year-old Unbridled Hope under jockey Richard Migliore. Tom Durkin with the call. Coming to the top of the stretch, Sazerac Jazz by a neck. Panama Canal right alongside. Unbridled Hope is kicking in now on the outside, coming to the leaders. They're passing the 316th marker, and it is Unbridled Hope who storms to the lead. Sazerac Jazz is second. Panama Canal weakening back in third. Manoa and Biagio's Rose as Unbridled Hope rolls through the stretch impressively. Unbridled Hope, a rocket through the final furlong. Unbridled Hope makes it her fourth straight win, her first greatest stakes victory here in the ladies' handicap at Aqueduct. This four-year-old daughter, the champion Unbridled, is trained by John Kimmel, runner of Marty Wygott. Jockey Richard Migliori guided this filly to the five-and-a-half length finish in front of Shug McGahee's Manoa. Unbridled Hope purchased the Keeneland sale for $175,000 as a yearling. Very impressive in the ladies' handicap. Two-year-olds in the spotlight at the Big A Sunday, the Damon Runyon Stakes, a mile and a 16th stake worth $50,000. The favorite currently running fifth, number two, year all wet. The jockey Aaron Ryder, here's Tom Durkin. It's been an easy pace so far for front runner for Levid. Here's Belabor continuing a sweep on the outside. First Rodeo's in between those two. Soda Man couldn't keep up. You were all wet in behind the lead. And you were all wet. Switched out for the stretch drive. Then Gender off the turn and into the stretch. For a bit. First Rodeo. Belabor. And you were all wet in full stride now. Here comes You Are All Wet, two sweeps to the front at the eighth pole. You Are All Wet in front, Gander moving late. Then Belabor, down toward the inside, for a bit, and they're coming to the finish. You Are All Wet, the winner. You're All Wet wins the Damon Runyon Stakes, finally gets to the front of the line after being second in his last four outings. This chestnut gelding by belonged to me is trained by Mary Epler, one of the legendary owners of the turf, Alfred G. Vanderbilt. Only off the board once in his seven career starts, Your All Wet collects his first stakes victory here in the Damon Runyon. Gander was up for second place in the Damon Runyon. This one easily going to Your All Wet. Finishing our race recap, we'll take you to Turfway Park, Northern Kentucky, this past Thursday night. Take a look at Hatchin Beauty, the only registered white thoroughbred currently racing. Well, she makes it to the winner's circle in her eighth career start here, taking the seventh race at Turfway. The three-year-old filly paid $11.40. She is one of only nine white thoroughbreds to be registered with the jockey club in the past 36 years.
In 1997, Walmack Stallion sired more stakes winners than any other farm in North America. It is bloodlines, planning, and persevering that leads to the winner's circles at racetracks the world over. Walmack is home to Nuria, one of the world's leading sires and broodmare sires. Nuria's sons and daughters are proving his influence will continue for generations. Walmack, winning the world over. Get inside the world of harness racing by subscribing to the award-winning publication of the United States Trotting Association, Hoofbeats. Each month, you'll enjoy news and in-depth features on top horses, drivers, owners, trainers, and major races, all in a colorful, photo-filled format, and all for only $30 for 12 great issues. Call 614-224-2291 and ask to subscribe to the best harness racing has to offer, Hoofbeats. A matchup from beyond the arc. Brian Earl is Princeton's three-point sniper. Terrell Baker is FSU bomb squad. The Rainbow Classic, Princeton versus Florida State, Monday night at 12.30 a.m. on ESPN. National Car Rental Racehorse Digest is being brought to you by National Car Rental. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. And by Walmack, winning the world over. In our holiday Brookside News Thoroughbred edition, Bob and Beverly Lewis have announced a change in their Champion Silver Charms 1999 schedule. They earlier said he'd start probably early at Santa Anita, but the Lewis's big supporters of the National Thoroughbred Racing Association have announced they will run instead in the NTRA's new Champion Series first event. That's the Don Handicap on January 30th at Gulfstream Park. Also on Silver Charm's early schedule in 1999 would be the Santa Anita Handicap on March 6th, and then defense of his Dubai World Cup Championship title, that on March 28th, and will be in Dubai to cover it on ESPN. And speaking of the Dubai World Cup, that also seems to be one of the main early season target races for this year's Belmont Stakes winner, Victory Gallup. Prestonwood Farm Stable Star will start his four-year-old campaign, either the Don Handicap or possibly the New Orleans Handicap, before trainer Elliot Walden ships him to the United Arab Emirates for the fourth running of the $4 million Dubai World Cup. And uh, looking at the National Thorbert Racing Association's latest announcements, they have told us that they have a new format for the industry's championship event. Those are the Eclipse Awards. Now, unlike in past years when just the horse of the year was announced at the dinner. All of the other divisional titles will also be kept secret until that night. Now, the night is the 28th annual Eclipse Dinner. It will be Tuesday, February 16th. That's at the Sheraton Val Harbor in Miami, Florida. And we'll be there to tape a special one-hour show to be seen on ESPN February 21st. One of Thoroughbred Racing's top jockeys, Mike Smith has announced that he will return to racing on February 1st at Gulfstream Park in South Florida. Now, Mike has been off since this frightening spill on August 31st at Saratoga. He bounced off the hedges there. He fractured two vertebrae, had to be put in a body cast. Well, Smith got a good report from his doctor in New York last week. He says he'll start doing some light exercise riding. By the middle of January, he should be back to some full speed works. It's good to see Mike Smith back on thoroughbreds. You know, everyone dreams of a white Christmas, but that's all it is, a dream in Southern California, except at Hollywood Park. Look at this. The Inglewood, California track each year trucks in snow, sets up a winter wonderland in the track infield for the area kids to enjoy, and they do enjoy it. And a reminder, you can't miss next week, Racehorse Digest. We present the top five quarter horse races of the year and 1998's top 10 thoroughbred races. We'll also have a special musical tribute of the top stories in thoroughbred racing in 1998. See you next week for this very special year in digest. And again, from all of us to all of you, hope this is the best Christmas ever and a safe one as well. See you next week on our year in review. So long, everyone. Merry Christmas. Ground transportation provided by National Car Rental. Worldwide reservations call 1-800-CAR-RENT. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.